Scorpio. You need to know this right now for March the 2nd through March the 3rd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for March the 2nd through March the 3rd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for March the 2nd through March the 3rd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for March the 2nd through March the 3rd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Scorpio, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the two of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the two of swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the four of wands. What? 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 <laughs> Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Scorpio, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Scorpio, I mean, are you hiding out in your house, Scorpio? Scorpio, are you like just blocking everybody out? You're in your house, locking the door, putting all the chains on and boards behind the door? I don't know, Scorpio. Or you're just indecisive about leveling up here or going into a commitment. Scorpio, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio. Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio. Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Fool. 
Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Scorpio, it could be dealing with an Aries, but you could tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. And this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. <sighs> Scorpio. You can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. Hmm. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're already in a commitment and maybe you're using this sword to sever. You're just wanting to start new and get out of here. But Scorpio, I feel like you need to make a decision, a decision concerning taking this leap of faith into commitment here, Scorpio. Possibly with a fire sign. I'm just saying, Scorpio, you have the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Scorpio, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. For Scorpio, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Scorpio, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Scorpio, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Scorpio, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with a third party. You can tell me that you're making a decision concerning you guys' already established commitment because they took a risk or a chance here, Scorpio. 
Scorpio, you could also tell me that you're needing to make a decision on whether or not you're going to forgive this person because they could be trying to apologize to come in and change things with you after causing you some type of heartbreak, Scorpio. And you're like, no, my curtains are closed. My blinds are closed. I'm in this house and I just want to just leave me alone. You have the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Scorpio, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. I'm so sick of on repeat, on fucking repeat. And why couldn't my brain just skip over that? Why couldn't I just ignore that? Why do I have to pay attention to everything? Attention to detail to every fucking thing. Does it involve me? Yes. So Scorpio, listen. Mm -mm. I, I think this weed could be... In two sections here. And I don't want it to be, but if you've been following the reads thus far for the last mm, two months or so, Scorpio, I feel like you're maybe finally making a decision about taking a leap of faith with commitment with maybe a fire sign here, Scorpio, because maybe you were indecisive about some type of commitment here. And like I said before in prior reads, something happened with someone that you're with or was recently with that is causing you to make this decision about maybe a fire sign here. Clarify the five of pentacles. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, Scorpio. Just someone who is uh, putting forth the effort, energy, action behind their words here. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the eight of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Beautiful mind. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. Scorpio, you could be walking away and ending something with this plan A <laughs> that hurts you. And going towards this plan B over here, Scorpio. <clears throat> But Scorpio, this plan A may also be trying to apologize for hurting you, coming in, trying to change things, hoping that you forgive them and you're needing to make a decision, a decision about this relationship. Scorpio, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Scorpio, you can tell me how you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture, someone from your past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. 
don't know. I'm holding this temperance in my hand. I'm starting to feel some type of heartburn going up in my chest. I feel it. I haven't eaten anything this morning. Mm. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that I need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. I don't even have Harper. Clarify temperance. For Scorpio, no, clarify temperance for Scorpio. I have enough stomach acid, so no. Clarify temperance for Scorpio. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. Shaking, shaking, shaking it up. It's coming up. I can feel it. So Scorpio, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. Clarify the tower. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know. This sentence makes me think about, and I hope no one's doing this ever, ever. I don't know. Is this shaking baby syndrome? <laughs> I don't know, Scorpio. Who is this shaking shit up over here? Dang. I want to shake you sometime, according to these readings. I'm tired of this. Did I already shuffle? I don't even know. I think, I don't know. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. And this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're telling me that you're wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. One thing about it, Scorpio, I'm going to show you, you're making some type of move. You're moving. You're moving. Scorpio, you can tell me that there was some type of shocking shakeup, shocking break up here over this heartbreak you broke up and you walked away but i don't know if you're wanting to heal things with this person and reunite and just put it behind you because there is an apology and you have to decide whether or not you're going to forgive scorpio you can tell me that there was a shocking shake up of them dealing with someone from their past and you're wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship and heal individually on your own. But Scorpio, I feel like something has really caught you off guard in two aspects, Scorpio. I feel like you're finding out the truth about this person that you're playing A, okay, Scorpio? You're finding out the truth about them, okay? And so you're wanting to leave this situation. And I feel like you're also getting a double, and I'm not, I don't want to even say whammy. It's a shocker, okay? Concerning maybe commitment here with someone else that's from your past, Scorpio. And you have to decide whether or not you want to go back there and just let bygones be bygones and level up with this person. Or whether or not you just want to uh, just be by yourself. And take some time to heal here. But the offer is here, Scorpio. And it's been here for a while. And I'm tired of seeing it on my table. 
Like, make a decision already. Make a decision already. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Scorpio. Now, this is just additional messages here. The love in it is Anxiety, scared, panic. Anxiety, scared, panic. Hmm. Hmm. What else for Scorpio? I don't want you to make a rash decision only because someone is putting you through something, Scorpio. I need you to think it out, okay? But I don't want to keep seeing it on my table. Tragedy, forbidden love. Tragedy, forbidden love. That's all she wrote. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Hi, if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, you need to know this right now for March the 2nd through March the 3rd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.